Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest cut file crew layout featuring a paper issues uh, cut file called String Art Trees. I've cut the five trees um, and I've also cut a, just a background to match, so just the outline so that I can use one on top of the other. So I'm going through all my hip kit papers from the Christmas of 2019 I believe, there's a number of ranges here. Uh, Merry Everything and Make a Wish, I think, are the main two. And I'm trying to uh, do my best to use things up at the minute, so I'm going to have a look through here, see which papers suit this cut file and this photo of my eldest and his dog. I really like this circular one, so I think that's going to be the one that I choose. And I decide how I'm going to get these trees to look when they're actually finished. So odd numbers are always best, they say, don't they? So I'm going to arrange the five trees across the page across the circle. So I've gone through the rest of the kit and I found these um, vellum stars which I think would be perfect on the top and I also found a bag of sequins so uh, I went through this pot of sequins that I own and really um, I should keep the colours separately because that took a little bit of time but basically I picked out the colours that would match with the stars that I want to put on the top. I had a thought about how I wanted to do this and initially I was going to do the in like um, triangular shapes or fill in portions of the cut file but actually that was going to be so time consuming so that's a strong double sided tape there that I've put on top of the uh, back and then I'm actually just randomly applying different coloured sequins as I say that match the stars so that I know that it'll coordinate really nicely with the paper actually it was more therapeutic than it sounds I actually got an audio book playing while I'm actually doing this and I will on, I'll only show you five of them, uh, one of them, sorry, not all five. You, I don't think you really need to sit through this. But actually it was quite freeing, just sticking them down, working my way down. As you can see, I've not taken the backing off all the tape because it's quite strong and it was sticking to me. Uh, and I realised that I actually hadn't got enough sequins possibly to do all five. I didn't really have any idea how many they would take, so... I got a few packs, so I started to add in a few colours that still would go, but just don't mix it up a bit, because once you put the actual string um, art tree over the top, some of the colours were actually hidden. Or, um, so mixing it up was a good thing. So I added in some silver and gold as well, and uh, a little bit of a stronger red. So uh, I think it's a really great way of uh, using a cut file. I've done something similar in the past, but I actually did specific colours to make some Christmas baubles oh, two or three years ago. So I thought it was about time I did something like this again. They're sticking very well to the tape. And I'm, I bet you're going to think, so what did I do about the bit of stickiness that's uh, surrounding the sequins? Obviously, uh, it was actually a bit shiny as well. And so when I'd actually finished covering this tree in sequins, I got a paintbrush and a little bit of talcum powder and I just brushed it over the top and in and around the sequins just to get rid of the shiny stickiness. And you may be able to spot, oh, when you see the close-ups at the end, you may notice that. So uh, I'm trying to mix up not only the colours of the sequins, but the sizes. I notice, I, I probably can't tell in the end, but I, it, for me, I did like a little bit of variation. And uh, I spent a couple of hours one afternoon sticking all these down. I'm sure it could be done a lot faster. Maybe I was overthinking it as I went. De desperately try not to get two different colours to touch. But as I say, once the top of the cut file's on, it's not going to be that noticeable anyway. But uh, it's certainly a good way to use up some of your stash. I know it's not, doesn't take up much room, all these sequins, but uh, it was quite nice to uh, go through them and uh, use them up. So... When it came to the trunks of the trees, I put gold on every single one, just a little bit of continuity, so I'm picking those out of the box. And when I come to put the top on, I actually cut any bits that were overhanging. So I've stuck the top on, straight on top of the sequins, for all five, just with a bit of wet glue. And now I'm actually going to stick them across the background circle. I'm just making sure I've got the final placement, so the ones at the back are going to just be stuck down with some sticky tape. The ones above get a foam pad because they're actually quite thick just to lift them up to go uh, over the top. So I actually did one of each tree as you can see. I did try and vary the sizes a little bit just to add some variety. I really like the way that they look. I don't think they look too 
garish. And I think they coordinate quite well with the jumper that my son is wearing in the photograph. But I actually am starting to already think that this isn't going to need too much more because there is a bit going on. So I decide to uh, not map the photograph. I do think about it, um, but uh, in the end I decide that actually there's enough happening. I've brought in all the embellishments on the left there that are left in this kit, or I think it was two or three kits that I'd put together from the hip kit. Uh, in case there's anything else I want to add. But these vellum stars, uh, I just trim uh, one down a little bit just to add it with a bit of double-sided tape to the top. This doesn't need much more, so I've got my title off one of the embellishment sheets and I've done it in black. I thought black it needed something after all the colours that are there on the layout and the black stands out well without covering the photo and it sticks very well to the trees because they're quite sturdy. Top right of the photo, that... Um, little sticker says Christmas Day and I've added that with another of the vellum stars. They were really nice addition to these kits, I really liked those. Um, and I really feel like it doesn't need too much more um, because there's quite a lot going on but it uh, certainly does make me smile. So I'm I clear up and I decide that I'm going to add just a few little stars either side just to go with the um, take your eye across the page. These are um, Shenanigans uh, 3D embellishments. It's a little company that I run. I'll add a link below uh, if you're interested in having a little look. Um, they're very inexpensive little shapes and words you can add to your scrapbooks and journals, etc. Anyway, I really like the way this has all come together. Uh, I really would recommend checking out the cut files. Here's the close-up and the main image. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon with another video to share. And uh, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Take care. Bye for now.